And then one last thing that I'm going to quickly talk about is the so-called uh, critical nuclear size and the so-called uh, maximum cluster size. So from previously we said, okay, R star. What does R star mean? Critical nucleus size. Okay. What does that mean is if our particle, our cluster is smaller than this R star, it has a tendency to what? Grow or shrink. It actually have a tendency to disappear, to shrink, to roll back. And that value is given previously is given by this function. It depends on in inversely true data t. Data t, the larger the data t, the smaller the R star. The smaller the data t, the larger the R star. Okay, so let's consider the number of solid cluster. We're talking about the solidification. Initially, it's all liquid, but let's say the atoms are arranged randomly. But occasionally, we can find the local region where the atoms are arranged what? Kind of in a periodic fashion, like in a solid. We call this so-called solid cluster. Solid cluster encircled by this red dashed line that's represent a kind of our local cluster it's within liquid but locally the atoms are arranged like a solid and the number of such solid cluster with size r would be given by here it's a boltzmann kind of distribution n0 is our so-called total number of atoms exponential of data gr over kt So this relationship tells us how many, if totally we have n zero number of atoms, at temperature T, which is below our melting temperature, how many of the so-called cluster that is arranged like a what? Solid, you remember here is within the liquid, but atoms arranged like a solid, the number of such cluster with size of r is given by this one. And in this here, the data gr term is the so-called excess energy for the local cluster with size of r. And that is from what we got before. The volume term, the area term. And it depends on the size of radius. It depends on the size of the radius. Okay. And then we consider for a given temperature, which is below the melting point. For a given temperature below the melting point, which means data t is greater than zero. Remember what is data t? Under cooling, it's defined as Tm minus t. It's below the melting point. Okay. If we are talking about this, for any cluster that is smaller than this R star, Okay, and this cluster that is smaller than R star, the larger the R, the larger its radius, the based on here, the larger the R. Remember, when we, this term is initially going from zero to a small positive value and decrease. If we are below the R star, so the larger the R, the more larger this data GR term would be. Okay, and it, because this data gr term is increasing, the n would be decreased because data gr is positive. And as a result, what it means is within the liquid, that is essentially a so called maximum cluster, solid cluster size. Because the larger the cluster, the fewer it is. To certain point, certain size, you cannot find any within the cluster, within the liquid. Make sense? Within the liquid, you cannot find a certain size that is larger than certain size. That's another to, way to say it. The probability of finding a cluster that is larger than a certain value is zero. So what that means is when we have data T become larger, the temperature become lower, the data GV, our driving force, remember that crossing term, 
the lower the temperature, the larger the undercooling, the delta GV become larger. Then delta GV become larger for this given radius. For a given radius, if R is fixed, gamma is fixed, delta GV is larger, more negative. This whole delta GR become smaller. If delta GR become smaller, which means the NR would be smaller, the number of atoms will be number of classes will be smaller, which means we can find the more larger clusters. So put another way, if we plot the radius versus delta T, the blue curve represents the so-called critical size. The blue curve represents the critical size. And the larger the delta T, the smaller it is. The smaller the delta T, the critical size becomes infinity. But at the same time, within the liquid, the size of actual locally arranged like a solid size has maximum size. And it increases with increasing delta T. So at a certain temperature, they are going to cross, meet together. So what this means is, if our temperature is delta T is small than here, which means we are very close to melting temperature. Our maximum is always smaller than the critical, which means the nucleation does not happen. On the other hand, if we are just uh, to the other side, if we are larger than delta T, if we are colder, then we can find the larger cluster that is larger than the critical value. Then the so-called homogeneous nucleation would occur. Okay, let's let's just stop here and uh, thank you.